Okay, can we watch something else? Oh yeah, it's time for the random report. From somewhere outside the Comedy Central studios, where someone likes to play the piano and recite poetry every Friday night, it's the Random Report. And now, the terrific trio that knows about random, Michael, Leroy, and Marina. Thank you. Good morning. And welcome to a very special edition of the Random Report. What's special about it is that, for some reason, we're on a different channel, but either way, I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. And I'm Marina. Things aren't looking too good over at downtown Capital City, where the whole area is under attack and multiple residents are getting kidnapped by an evil army destined to take over the city. That evil army is also led by someone known as the Dark Slayer, a not-so-notorious person previously known in Capital City for doing pathetic crimes such as drinking milk from the carton and burping in people's faces. While that is pathetic, it's still just plain disgusting. Also, doesn't Dark Slayer sound like Shark Slayer? Because now it's making me think of that Shark Tale movie that starred Will Smith. Oh god, don't even get me started on that movie. Hey look, it's Dave Passions! Thanks, Marina. Shark Tale was really terrible, and I ain't talking about the animation only. You think that since Will Smith plays a fish named Oscar, he would actually win an Oscar for that movie? It's weird how Will Smith, one of this generation's most beloved actors, has never won a single Oscar. Agreed, but... Anyways, the Dark Slayer is pretty much stepping up his own game by going from pathetic misdeeds to a full-scale violent and destructive attack. Makes you wonder what our dear neighbor Mr. Rogers would say at a time like this, eh? He would tell us to look for the helpers, and he's right. I'm sure Capital City's most trusted and reliable police crew are helping to put an end to this aggression right now. Guys, what are you doing? You can't just sit there and watch TV. This all tells under attack. The force needs to take action. Oh yes, I'm pretty sure Chief Mark will get, get that taken care of. Now, do you mind we're watching the random report? Oh, and uh, clean that up while you're at it. Fine, but don't blame me if we get kidnapped. I'm telling you, that Dark Slayer guy is messed up. Greg Stevenson, everyone. What's your input on the situation, eh? For a long time, Capital City was known to be the second most safest town in the tri-state area. Until now. I hope everyone affected by this outbreak of hostility stays safe and confident. I agree completely. Word on the street is the Dark Slayer plans to capture and execute his main targets. A black lamb, a brown cow, a yellow butterfly, a purple caterpillar, a blue dolphin, and a red dog. Oh, that could be any black lamb, brown cow, yellow butterfly, purple caterpillar, blue dolphin, and red dog. <clears throat> nope, he's definitely referring to you guys. So wait, are they like scapegoats or what? Beats me, Dave. But I heard that red dog, Ricky Bowers, apparently works for the Capital City Daily News as a reporter, and for some reason he sounds an awful lot like... like... our good friend Bob Richardson. Speaking of Bob, you know what time it's for? Of course! It's that time again. Time for random poetry with Bob Richardson. The Dark Slayer is wreaking havoc in Capital City. And as you can see, things are looking too pretty. Bombing, captures, it's sinister, I say. That guy's pretty much saying that there's hell to pay. I hope all those kidnappers are gonna be alright, because it obviously looks like they're not gonna put up a fight. Well, if things could get any worse, then we're all out of luck. Because the Dark Slayer is coming, and he doesn't give a f You know, I get that Bob wrote his own poem for the first time ever, but it was probably better off interrupted. Dave. <sighs> I'm sorry. This is not good. What's gonna happen to Bobby? Well, I'll be happy to tell you. What the? What are you doing here? And what did you do to our friend? Well, I can never pass up the opportunity for cheesy tabloid fame and free publicity. Oh, and Mr. Richardson is going to be taking a long and expected vacation from now on. Let me out! It smells like Jim Zox. I just drank five cans of Pepsi, and I really need to use it. Now that I'm here, things are going to be much different. 
Okay, excuse me, I'm the producer here. Not anymore, Shirley. As long as I'm around, that tail belongs to me. So, what are you gonna do to us? I'm not sure yet. I can't really destroy such fine talent like yourselves. Except for that Bob Richardson goofball. His poems are so cheesy and he always mispronounces stuff. But I'm still the villain around here, so you shall now do whatever I say. And right now, I say it's time to go. Okay, I guess, so... For the random report, I'm Michael. I'm Leroy. I'm Marina. I'm Dave Passions. I'm Bob Richardson. I'm Greg Stevenson. And I'm in control. Good night, good morning, and keep running away from me. Because we'll all be for nothing, for I will find you. And once I do, remember, you belong to me. <laughs> Thank God none of this is canon. <laughs> <laughs>